teachers that I've known them since they were really young. So Connor, I think you were probably, wait, were you 10? 10 or 11, I think, when you kind of started with us. So his sister came to school here, and then of course when the older sibling comes, then the younger ones come in tow. And uh, started as a swimmer, and once he started playing middle school water polo, uh, really found a love in that sport. Uh, thankfully, he continued to swim also for us. Um, I had not coached polo for 10 years, and then this past fall I was asked to step in and fill in, and uh, he certainly made my job a lot easier being out of the sport for 10 years. Um, from a water polo perspective, everything you would ever want. Humble, hardworking, uh, connects well with others, you know, elevates the, the play of his teammates, and uh, you know, very tough and unselfish. And even though we did not quite reach our goal, I think we can all say that we, it was an outstanding year and he played a big role in that. He's an all-time, uh, he's the four-time MIA all-team, and then he also this year was recognized as player of the year. So that was outstanding. <laughs> and then in swimming, thankfully, he just, you know, we still, sometimes the polo guys don't swim, and he thankfully has, and last year he was on our 200 free relay, which not only was MIA champions, but he also earned All-American honors as part of that relay. <laughs> so uh, he'll be going on to play water polo for the U.S. Naval Academy, and we know that he's going to have a great career there, and we're really proud of him. So congratulations. <laughs>